I'm frequently asked what the best gun is uh, for a concealed carry gun. Do we want a little revolver, a little lightweight one? Do we want a little plastic gun like a miniature Glock or a, an LCP9 or whatever it is that Ruger puts out? First question I'm going to ask, and this is the biggest thing that you want to consider before getting a gun that you uh, plan to have to defend yourself. Are you really truly going to carry it concealed? If you are not, you're going to want a different gun than if you are. So think about it. Are you, each and every morning when you get up to leave the house, are you going to put that gun on your belt or carry it in your purse all of the time or however you plan to carry it? Are you always going to do so? If your answer is yes, my answer is going to be different than if you don't plan to carry it all the time, but you do plan to have it on your bed stand or, or in your vehicle's center console, someplace like that. If you don't plan to carry it concealed, my strong suggestion is get a big heavy metal gun. That's what most people shoot best. Reason for that is because of the, uh, uh, the pushing down and left on the gun for right-handed shooters when we're uh, anticipating the recoil. Almost everyone has that issue. That's why most people miss. So if we can alleviate that by having a heavy gun that doesn't kick as much, why not do that? So first of all, I suggest a big, strong, uh, heavy gun uh, made of metal, a Beretta 92FS or a CZ75 or a Sig Sauer P226 or an H&K that's the, the metal frame, something that's a, a heavy-duty metal gun. If, on the other hand, your plan is to carry the gun every single day and you're going to be walking around, you have to have it concealed, uh, you don't want to have too baggy a clothing, well then, yeah, a smaller gun makes more sense. If you're going to do a lot of walking around, a lighter gun makes sense, something that doesn't weigh you down as much when you walk. So, in that case, you're going to want the smaller plasticky gun or one of the light-framed revolvers. Just know that if you get one of those, those guns are kind of made for experienced shooters, people that really know what they're doing. So unless you have done, if you haven't shot a thousand rounds yet this year, it's probably not the right gun for you. You're not going to do as well with it as you would with a heavier metal gun. So these are just a couple considerations. Please click on the subscribe button below and more advice will be forthcoming. Thanks for listening. This is Shepard Humphreys.